Mary with Seed to Spoon. So I'm out here in our garden today and I am going to plant some garlic. So it is fall and the weather is beautiful. It's actually a little warm today, but it's nice out here. And so we're gonna plant a lot of garlic. We love planting garlic in the fall because garlic is one of those plants that really needs to have a freeze for it to do really well. So whenever we plant it in the fall, it gets um, the really cold weather in the winter and then in the spring we have amazing looking garlic plants. So I'm going to plant it today into this big bag bed, the Smart Pots. It's a 100 gallon Smart Pot and we have the garlic all ready to go. Dale worked on getting this ready in the kitchen. So all we really did was just break up the uh, huge ball of them. Um, and then into these little tiny bulbs here. And so um, we have these going and this is what we are going to be planting. Oh, and I did not bring my seating square over. Okay, so I went and I picked up our seating square from over there on the other side of the garden. Um, so whenever we plant garlic, it's one that's gonna be 16 per square. And I love this just because it makes it so much easier. So I just go through and on every red hole is where I'm going to make a mark um, with this. And then I'm gonna come back through and put a garlic where each hole is. Whenever you plant them down into the Smart Pot, you wanna make sure that this root side goes down. And then this side up here is going to be going towards the top. So I'll show you that in here in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to plant it here into this big bag bed smart pots. And we chose this location just because this is probably the sunniest place in our garden and it loves the sun. And, um, and it also doesn't ha already have one of these um, PVC dome hoop houses that we made. Um, these are like our little mini greenhouses that we use and we use these to save the, the plants through the winter that maybe can't tolerate it. And garlic's one that doesn't really need this. So we're gonna do it in an area that doesn't have these. So while I'm talking about this, I do wanna mention that I made a video the other day about how to make this and I made one from start to finish. So check that out if you haven't already, I'll put a link down below just in case you're interested. So back to planting garlic. So I have my seating square here and um, I'm just going to lay it out and make a mark everywhere that there is a red hole. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off. Oh, good. So I can see here everywhere I have the hole. Usually I just plant seeds directly on this, but I mean, as you can see, these garlic bulbs, I mean, they're a little bit too large to do that with. But I am gonna go through here and just pick out some of the, um, some of the bigger ones and get those in. So I'm gonna put it this See, or this root side down. I'm gonna make sure it goes down about two inches. And then I will cover it with soil. You wanna make sure you keep this paper part on it as well. So planting garlic can be time consuming because you're going through and putting one in each hole, but really once you have them in here, there's not a lot to do to take care of it. I mean, you only have to water, I don't know, hardly at all, I feel like, because garlic doesn't really like a lot of water. And then, I mean, really you just let them go all winter and then spring you come back to them. So, I mean, there's really not that much care in garlic. So it's one of the really easy plants that you can plant, especially as a beginner. It's a great one to start with. Garlic does really like fish fertilizer too. So we like to use fish fertilizer. Um, so we either plant fish or we buy some fish fertilizer, um, whatever we have on hand. But um, it really likes the extra nitrogen and it'll really help the plants out. In the spring, you'll want to also fertilize because it's really good to have something that has some phosphorus in it too. So it'll help them develop their bulb really well. So you wanna make sure that you do a, like a really good all-purpose fertilizer in the springtime, at least one time. 
garlic is one that has a lot of health benefits. Um, check out our app if you haven't already. Up on the top part of the app, it will show you like exactly what, you know, different um, health systems, I guess you could say, um, that garlic helps with. So, I mean, that includes like the cardiac, so it's really good for your heart, and also really good for immunity, cancer fighting. I mean, pretty much I feel like you name it, garlic is great for it. So it's just a really good all around healthy plant to eat. So if you ever forget when you should plant garlic, a really easy way to remember is you should always plant it around Halloween, at least for here. And uh, this garlic can help keep the vampires away. At least that's what we tell the kids too. They love it. So this garlic is going to keep growing until we get our first really hard freeze. And then it's gonna look like it dies but it's just gonna go dormant. And then in the spring, whenever it starts to get warmer again, it'll pick back up and start growing real, real well. So most of the time we get our garlic either from a local nursery or a seed company, but you can also get it from like an organic grocery store. Um, just make sure that they are organic so that way they don't spray them. It'll make it grow a lot better for you. Dale and I have fun each year going and like going to a bunch of different stores and picking out a different bunch of different varieties of garlic. One of our favorite varieties that we found is elephant garlic, which is exactly what it sounds like, huge garlic. So it is really fun to grow and it grew so huge. It was so much fun to grow that last year. So we're gonna have to go out and find some more elephant garlic this year to get planted. And there's a bunch of different varieties that you can find. I mean, there's even like different colors, like there's purple. So you can get real creative and really unique out in the garden. So it's really fun. I love to have a little bit of everything out here. Garlic doesn't have a lot of pest issues when you're growing it. In fact, garlic is an amazing companion plant. So whenever you are planting garlic in your garden, it'll help repel pests just because it is so like it smells so strong. It helps to disguise different plants. So it's really helpful to have in the garden. So if you want to see what plants garlic is especially good for, make sure you check out our app. We have a, uh, a section for companion planting in there. And if you haven't checked out our app yet, make sure you do that. It's available for free in the iOS and Android stores and it'll walk you through growing over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, and including garlic. And it'll also talk about companion planting, pest management, I mean, you name it. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today. I'm just gonna go through and finish planting the rest of this big bag bed with the rest of this garlic. So we'll see you next time.